apply to everyone. And to me, the original God or goddess was a woman. You know, if we are truly made in the image of a creator, a woman, and a black woman in particular, was the first to be here. Right. So we took it to the strip club. Uh <laughs> and, we, and a black woman in particular was the first to be here. Right. So we took it to the strip club. Uh <laughs> and we, right. So we took it to the strip club. Uh <laughs> and we decided yeah, it, to invoke it, a pagan-like goddess worship. Many religion. roads end up Nothing wrong with series. celebration of the female form. <laughs> Nothing wrong with series. celebration of the female form. <laughs> of the belief, and I won't impose my will on y'all, but I am of the belief, based on facts, not talking about blind faith, based on facts, I am of the belief that the black woman is God. I bear witness to this every single day of my life. Yeah, you can clap it up. Don't be insecure. This black woman is God. Growing numbers of African-American women in Maryland and across the nation are leaving traditional church worship. All of them are in search of something else, a spiritual belief that connects them to their ancestors and where they can feel more empowered to control their own well-being. They have found it in ancient forms of spiritual contact. Some call it witchcraft, a term they accept and embrace. For most of us, this is how we worship a tradition that predates us all. This too is an ancient art of worshiping, not to God the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, but to spirits and deities that span the oceans and date back to pre-slavery days in Africa. Are you in fact witches? Um, whatever the situation calls for. She's nine months. So where's her father? What's going on with you guys? Um, he's in the hospital, so... Yeah, he's been, he's very ill, so I'm looking for, like, a stepfather. Wait, so you broke up with him while he's in the hospital? No, I, no, I didn't break up with him. Were y'all not together when he went to the hospital? Yeah, we, we're still together. Wait, okay. I'm looking for, like, a, you know, just in case. A stepfather just in case. Just in case if he passes away? Right. Are you serious? Yes, Kendra. You have to have one in a chamber. Kendra, come on now. Why are men such trash? When women call men trash, it's usually sign language being used by women who have been treated like trash by men. But go ahead. I was talking to this guy. We were talking for a minute. Now, what do you mean by a minute? Going on dates on and off for months, like six plus months, right? But that's a serious relationship, right? He's a part of my roster. Like, I'm not taking him too seriously, but he was pregnant. <laughs> a roster like a basketball team or a starting five or squad of, of men. You know that that's nasty, right? Like, disgusting. I finally give it up to him or whatever. Yeah, or whatever. Why am I just finding out that this man has been in a whole ass relationship he was definitely married or in a long-term relationship viewed you as a pro to him or a thought or a side chick right sucking feet probably pouring candle wax down your goddamn back now you feel like trash because you thought you were playing him but he actually played you this man was dripping candle wax down my back oh yeah i know <laughs> that the black woman i want to give all the praises and the honor to yahweh bahashim Yahweh Shah Bahashem Racha Ha Kwadash and double honors to the elder apostles and bishops of Great Millstone. Honors as well to you, brethren, you fellow believers of this truth and shalom to the elect. So anyway, I kinda wanted to put this piece this video together and in the midst of things I've I've been seeing in the world and how Feminism really doesn't empower anybody. It really just destroys. And I was just kind of looking back on these uh, black conscience guys, black leaders of the black community who was set up and paid, we pretty much sure of that, to push the doctrine of the black woman being God. Now, when I look at it, I have yet to see another nationality promote or push their women is being gods right other than the Israelites right I have yet to see <laughs> the Chinese man put his woman up and call them gods you know and even if they thought that 
they wouldn't promote that and push it and take you know take out the the role of the man when you say that you really literally re remove the role of the man and then you don't understand it favors them in their thinking but it doesn't favor them spiritually or even physically now imagine someone going over and saying we're second in command under Yahweh, putting us up on a level saying we are over Yahweh Shah. How would I feel? <clears throat> Let's say that I didn't know any better and I kind of agreed to it. It would feel pretty damn awkward to for the man that's supposed to save us for me to be over him. See, this is not making sense. The only reason why you can claim them being gods is because of the support that was given to them by the serpent. Right? When you take that support away, they have no choice but to fall, fall back in their positions that they're supposed to be in. But money's being thrown out and funded. And then you have these men who is part of this funding, like BLM, who is set up to teach these courses and classes and go on national TV and say the black woman is God. Then you got women setting up uh, channels putting up nothing of videos of men hurting women <laughs> but not of us getting abused mentally spiritually socially right child support alimony right uh, uh, being last you know being put under the foot of Eve nope no wonder Paul said that uh, those that have wives be as though they had none I wish you was like as I now, I will say that there are women who uh, support us and follow us. In fact, there is women who bring this information out that's tired of the feminism. But then you got these jakes, these simps on high levels who is all support of it. And we'll get that in the scriptures. Uh, this is 1 Corinthians 11 and 8. It says, for the woman is not, uh, for the man is not of the woman. But the woman of the man, neither was the man created for the woman, but the woman for the man. So these people, this man name is Killer Mike. This is who they set up, right, to be the advocate of being over or control or pushing a narrative of the black woman is God, the first creature here, the first woman here. But somehow she's the weaker vessel, but she's the first one here. Does that not sound out of order? Completely out of order. When the Bible speaks totally against that. Now we know Genesis 5 says male and female, right? Male and female in that order through the book of the generations. Let's go to Timothy, 1 Timothy 2 and 13. See, these people totally throughout the Bible. And you know why they did this? Because your Creflo dollars, your TD Jakes, and all those fakers have taught you prosperity instead of telling you read the scriptures and how to get our, our, the people back in order. And in this society, you got Israelite groups who is about leadership and order and great, great creating these big schools still under the authority and the jurisdiction, right, of the men who run this place. Men, by the way, all you feminists don't understand, men is running this. Men is giving you the ability to do what you do. It's all men, right? For Adam was first formed, then Eve. And Eve was, you know, woman was made for a man to be his help meet. But somehow, these guys got some false science, pseudoscience that was created and made up and thrown in some books. Look, if you want to go out there and read a book saying the sun is actually really cold, you can find it. There's anything that you want to find that's contrary to natural order of things, you can find it. Because there's a bunch of weirdos out there and some intelligent people who's pushing this doctrine. The elites don't even believe that. Right? Even over in Europe, this is the only place the people push that crazy madness at, man. In Africa, you don't see that. In Europe, you don't see that. In India, you don't see that. In China, you don't see that. This is the only place, I'm not saying it's not there to a degree, but this is the only place you really normally see this stuff. You know? This is sick. Jeremiah 44 and 15. Then all the men which knew that their wives had burned incense unto the, 
uh, other gods. And all the women that stood by, a great multitude, even all the people that dwell in the land of Egypt, uh, in Pathros, answered Jeremiah, saying, As for the word that thou hast spoken unto us, in the name of the Lord, we will not hearken unto thee. Now, this goes back in the ancient times. And you know why the Most High really did it or allowed it? Because they're going to wake up in this society in the end days and do the same thing that was presented in their spirit to do, man. It says, but we will certainly do whatsoever thing go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven. <laughs> right? So that's all the, the uh, feminist is all about is the queen of heaven. Now, the whole, uh, the whole ideology behind it is for men to follow women in the manners, in manners of behavior. But there's actually literal women, literally women out there who is totally against this behavior. Totally against it. And rightfully so. You've taken the natural order out of things. And then when they catch hell and they're not held accountable for it and when they get deeper and deeper in their state of their mind and they just lose it all and they become lonely or there's nothing there, then they're blaming everybody. They're blaming society. They're blaming men. Right? He wasn't good enough. He didn't make enough money. They all want somebody to take care of them. It's all about money, money, money. Now, I know this thing with the passport bros is you got the passport bros and the passport HOs, right? <laughs> they was, I remember like 10 years back, all the E's were saying, girls, get your passports. Leave that country. Get out of there and get some real men over in Europe, right? Or in China or wherever else you want to go. The problem is in those countries, all nations are drinking the wrath of the fornication, but in those countries, a lot of those men ain't going to deal with that. And then they got to ask themselves, we got the most submissive women on the planet, some of these other countries. Why the heck would I do that? Anyway, can't make this up. They're really in an illusion. They're in a um, a simulation where somehow the picture was painted to them as a, at a very young age to be successful, to be great, to be rich. They watched the Ken and Barbie. They watched the um, the uh, uh, what do they call that? The the situation with um, the ball and everything. Um, I forgot what they call it, but. You know, you, you watch the Cinderella, you watch that and you watch all this, the soaps, you listen to the songs, you listen to Usher and you listen to uh, Neo and Chris Brown and you listen to all that stuff and you was pray, basically being washed. You know, that's all it was. You was being brainwashed to believe a certain thing that wasn't reality, Right. Let's go to this word wife. We know what the word woman means. The word woman actually means servant. But I want to go to this word wife. They really didn't have a name for it. Um, it says in the Middle Ages, it meant a female lady. A woman, female lady also, but not especially wife. So a woman means um, woman, female, which goes to feminine male. Whoa, whoa, whoa man, as I say. Oh, but not especially. Germanic wifa, um, it goes back into all the origins and etymology that was disputed. They wasn't sure. It says not found in Gothic, uh, uh, apparently felt as inadequate in its basis sense, leading to the non-distinction non formation of wife man. Right? Um... It also means, now means to slang girl baby, having softened someone, uh, softened somewhat from earlier sense of B I T C H. That's what it says. Uh, so we can see where that went. I'm not going to read on and on. It also goes down to the word queen, which we, we know what queen means. 
So this is not looking good. This is not looking good because of the mindset of this is nothing being new, by the way. Ecclesiastes 1 and 9 said there's no new thing under the sun. So this is what it is, man. You know, it's no way around it. I'm not going to try to sugarcoat it. You know, so the next time you ask um, a woman, what is she? What does it mean? And what does it mean to be one? They should be able to answer. And according to etymology, since a lot of them are educated, they should be able to tell you. And if they can't, tell them to look it up. And when they look it up and see what it says, you know what they're going to say? Oh, it's written by a bunch of men anyway. Right? But it was the same bunch of men that gave them their jobs, that that bunch of men that their faces, their, their, um, their faces on their money, that's on their credit cards. It's the same men that you're going and paying to pay those car notes to their insurance. Same men, the same men you're going to the stores and you're buying your purses and your bags and your hair products, your clothes, your baby formula, still all men. Anyway, um, but we will certainly do whatsoever go forth out of our own mouth to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her as we have done, we and our fathers, our kings and our princes in the cities of Judah and the streets of Jerusalem, right? So we can clearly see that this is nothing new. It says, but since we have left off the burn instance of the queen of heaven and pour out drink offerings unto her, right? We have wanted all things. This is why God's coming to the truth. This is, this is an example why God's coming to the truth. And since they left the, left the world, I know one guy in particular right now He's been gone a couple of years, but he went back to the, the worship of the queen of heaven because it got too rough for him in the truth. That's what this is saying. The majority of the times, I, I know another guy that just fell off and went back into the world. When you go back into the world, you're going back under the, the jurisdiction of the queen of heaven. But since we left off to burn incense unto the queen of heaven and to pour out drink offerings unto her, we have wanted all things and have been consumed by the sword and by the famine. Meaning today you're not doing well. You know, you're not getting the amenities. You're not getting things that you want to get unless you're under, under Eve. And most guys that fall out, that's where they run back to. That's where they fall to. Um, and we have burned incense at the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her. Okay. And did make her cakes to worship her and pour out drink offerings unto her without our men so this is crazy the men followed them and then they left to go back into the world and they came back right it says right here we, uh, it says and when we burn incense to the queen of heaven and poured out drink offerings unto her did we make her cakes to worship her and pour out our offerings without, I mean, offerings unto her without our men? So honestly, they went back into the world and um, uh, went back into the, the spirit of the queen of heaven, right? They, they loved the fact that they had these, um, you know, them under their thumb. That's the best way I could say it. You know, this is crazy, man. And this is why Jake is all, this is why Jake is all, all messed the hell up, man. So, you know, basically the, the queen of heaven is geared on the use of men being under the thumb of, or the toe of Eve. Anyway, that's all I have on that. Shalom.